Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be, friends. It's me, Brian the Big Red Beard, and we are back at Zender's and the Z Cafe having breakfast before we head off to Bronner's uh, here in Frankenmuth. It's our last day before we head home. It's Sunday, uh, so we're going to have a little bit of breakfast. What I got myself for breakfast is a little unconventional. I got one of those big pickles that uh, were in the video yesterday. Breakfast in quotes. Yeah, breakfast in quotes. And then I also got myself a small cobblestone jalapeno bread. I'm really excited about this. And Rachel got herself a giant croissant, along with Avery got herself a giant croissant. That croissant is almost as big as your head. And it has a tail. And it has a tail. It looks like a platypus. We are heading towards Bronner's into Frankenmuth and we noticed this little archway here. This is new. I wonder what they're gonna put up there. And where we are right now, we parked our car and there is the store. Now from here, you cannot see the scale of the store, but trust me when I tell you, it is huge inside. We'll go in in a little bit, but right now they're closed and boy, I need some coffee, it is cold. There's Santa Claus there. You can probably hear the Christmas music playing now. Bronner's Christmas Wonderland, right here in Frankenmuth, Michigan. When you come to Bronner's, you cannot help but just feel the nostalgia as soon as you get into the parking lot and hear this music. Just Christmas everywhere. It's wonderful. It's very rainy outside, but we're underneath this awning waiting for Bronner's to open up. Love the music. And underneath this awning where it is a pick up and drop off, they have signs hanging up in different languages that say hello and goodbye, happy new year, and also merry Christmas in different languages. And they have these hanging up on every single entrance. But the only fitting place to actually have a Coca-Cola machine with Santa. Pretty awesome. You'll know that they're open 361 days a year. You can visit them at www.bronners.com and their current hours posted there and the dates that they're closed. And here we are inside of Bronner's Christmas Wonderland, the largest Christmas store in the world. The girls are going to head off to the restrooms and I'm going to wander inside the store. Even the countdown, 239 days until December the 25th. Up above us there's little shelves and I'm not going to lie, those are some of the largest Christmas bulbs I've ever seen. I would love to see the tree those could hang on. Every possible snow globe you can imagine from small to large, including some of the birthstones for every month of the year. We're over here by the clearance section and Avery is on the Santa hotline. She's listening to what Santa has to say and she has the hiccups. What do you think? Is this a hot find of the day? It's in the clearance section. $10. Hmm, that's perfect. Like an, it'll be perfect for a Santa shop, I think. I think so. They have stuff for all seasons. So they have a 4th of July display up here too as well. Like I love this little salt and pepper shaker. This little picnic table. How cool is that? This grill shade condiment set is pretty cool. It's a cool little grill. Inside the theater here is one of the largest collection of Hummel figurines. Over 1,000 figurines are in this case. There's a winter scene here as well. And then also the nativity scene in Bethlehem. And if you're into your really big figurines, these are about 12 to 13 inch figurines that you can get, if you, especially if you set up a large Christmas display in your household, church, or office building. And they're pretty cool. I really like this one here, which are some of the figurines from 
the tail of Scrooge, especially this one here. It even has the tombstone of Ebenezer. And there is no endless shortage of nutcrackers. There's a whole bunch of nutcrackers here, including some favorite heroes and villains. We got Yoda, Superman, there's even Disney nutcrackers. That one's pretty cool, huh? You want to dress up as the big guy for Halloween or even for Christmas? They've got you covered. They've got all the suits and costumes and belts and bells you can desire. This is one of Avery's favorite sections in the entire store, is all the little villages that they have. I mean, look how cozy and quaint these little scenes are with the little houses and people and businesses. I've always wanted to have one of these along with like a train set, but they take up a lot of room. They even have a little village of the original Bronner's Christmas store before they relocated to where they are today. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. Like I said before, they don't just have Christmas stuff here. They also have a huge display of Halloween stuff. Pretty cool. Pull this back for scale so you can see. Yeah. A witch's house and cauldron. These are very expensive and very elaborate displays, but very cool. Especially down underneath this cave. Not the Bates Motel, but the Bat Motel. This ghost is definitely new for 2017. That's pretty cool. Now this is a village I can get behind. Mickey's Village with a water tower. There's Mickey building some snowmen. A little cocoa shop? That is pretty awesome. And they have a stocking for everybody. Armed forces, red, blue, camouflage with pets, cats, dinosaurs, Santa Claus, penguins. And even these ones are pretty cool too. But they have a whole section of just stockings. Well, and little bags, of course. Now, I don't know about many of you, but you would have to be an awfully good girl or boy if you want a Detroit Tigers Christmas tree. Tell you what, Bronner's has it figured out. Oh, and not to mention these two giant tigers that Avery is playing with right now. What do you think about those giant tigers? They're so cute. These desks that you see here, these are all desks usually busy during the time of year to customize your own decorations and Christmas bulbs. And you can actually see some of the ladies hard at work right now, personalizing ornaments for customers right, right at this second. Right here in section seven is an entire area dedicated to the man and his family, Wally Bronner. The man behind Bronner's Christmas Wonderland. Starting back as early as 1954 at the original location in Frankenmuth, going all the way through time with he and his wife and family to the current location I'm standing in now, which is at 25 Christmas Lane, opened in 1977 and had major expansions added in 1991 and 2002. Wally Bronner passed away back in 2008 at the age of 81, but his memory still lives on in this wonderful display, outlining several news articles and publications and pictures and moments in history. Like Laura Bush, she visited Bronner's back in 1999. And Wally and his wife Irene presented her 
with personalized ornaments for their family. He's even hosted people such as President Bill Clinton and Vice President Al Gore. He's traveled back and forth to Germany several times. In fact, one of the favorite things here at the store is Wally's hat and a little figurine of Wally holding a Browner's Christmas bag signed on the side of the bag there. Wally Browner, 2007. There's plenty of places that can make me smile and this is definitely one of them. Holy smokes, I'm looking behind me and you want to announce your baby on your Christmas tree? They have bulbs for that. But going back to the point, uh, you know, there's Disneyland and Disney World really bringing magic memories uh, to family members. This place can also do that. We've been coming here with Avery um, for the last three, four years, and it always brings a smile to our face and to our family every time we come here. It's hard to put into scale on video the size of Bronner's, but I can give you some facts about how large the store actually is. The entire facility is approximately seven and a half acres of property and building with almost two and a half acres dedicated to just the sales room alone. That's big. That's a lot of football fields. Now these are some cool ornaments. Oh, let me get my shadow out of here. Now these are some cool ornaments. I don't know if you can necessarily hang this one up as a whole, but these are pretty awesome. A lot of these ornaments here are just dedicated to strictly poinsettias, which is awesome. They have sections dedicated to just things and people. Like take these, these are legends, symbols, and traditions. These ones you could say are quite excellent. This Christmas tree is a little untraditional. Not going vertical, but laying on its side. Have a merry minion Christmas. Even have a section for the Duke himself, John Wayne. Little boots, little characters of John Wayne, mugs, coaster sets. And you can even have the Duke as a clock. From Snoopy to Sesame Street, they have all the ornaments and trees your heart can desire. And they literally have every style tree you can think of. Fat ones, short ones, tall skinny ones, naked ones, big lights, small lights, ornaments from everywhere. Let me look, look at this place. It truly is a Christmas wonderland. All that's missing is hot cocoa and cookies and Santa Claus and... Wait, that's all here too. That's in the cafeteria. We're probably going to get some cocoa and some cookies here in a little bit. You can see through all these trees, but... There is a whole forest of Christmas trees you can take home. Some of them already have lights on them. Some of them don't. But this is section 14 of Bronner's. And it's all about the trees, garland, and wreaths. So they have all the lighted plastic ornaments from nativity to snowmen to angels. They've got you covered. I mean, come on, who wouldn't want an illuminated cow in their front yard for Christmas? And the yard ornaments don't just stop with Christmas. They also have them for Halloween. But look at all these. Every design, every shape, every character that you can think of. And even lights to hang outside your house or on the side of your home. Mr. and Mrs. Claus could light up your front lawn. They even have some of their Easter stuff still out. Like, look at these. A giant light up peep. How awesome is that? Just think, a peep that size. Wow, you'd be on a sugar high for months to come. Don't worry, Bronner's has you covered for Thanksgiving too.
currently on the move through this vast store looking for Rachel and Avery. I've seemed to have lost them. I mean, not permanently, but just lost them for a second. But I'll find them. Here's a clear view of the store directory and all the sections. Wait, we are here next to the food. Now it's time to have a little snack in the cafeteria. And when you first walk in, you are greeted with Mrs. Claus and also Santa. And Santa's got a cookie in his hand. And he's got some cozy friends by the fire. A trip to Browner's would not be complete without a trip to their cafeteria and their homemade Christmas cookies. We're just gonna have a quick bite here, wander around the store for a little bit later, then we're gonna head home because there is a nasty storm coming. Let me show you. And since we are in Frankenmuth, Browner's also has some pretty amazing steins. Steins, steins, steins. <laughs> all made and handcrafted in Germany. This one is awesome. This Castle Stein. And that one is $295. Beautiful. I even like these mugs. Are simple yet exquisite. And who cannot go without a boot? Das Boot. And here by the entrance is the largest <laughs> mailbox for Santa. We are leaving Bronner's Christmas Wonderland right now. We enjoy coming up to Frankenmuth. We enjoy coming up to Bronner so very much. I wish we could spend a little bit more time up here, but there's some really bad storm systems that are coming in through you know southern michigan and mid michigan and we want to get back home we don't want to drive in the dark in a bad storm and we definitely want to get home and get ahead of it as soon as possible so we're going to cut this trip a little bit short and uh, head on home